Eugenia and this is Eugenia's kitchen. First of all, check out this most amazing apron and look at this. It has Eugenia's kitchen on it. I got it for Christmas from my sister-in-law's Melissa boyfriend, Aaron. Awesome. And not to blow a secret up, but I might get more than one. Boom! It's out there. Eric possibly got me one too. Oh, I love them so much. I have an apron issue. I really do. I enjoy them way too much. Anyway, we just had New Year, which was wonderful, amazing, full of Russian food and international food and delicious food. Next thing, on a night from 6th to 7th of January, we're going to have Russian Christmas, which we don't really celebrate, but still, we have to make some kind of food that's Russian just to honor where we came from. There is this Russian salad called Mimosa. It's layered, it's really fancy. We make it out of this fish named Saira, but in English it's sorry. And usually it's 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 very, you know, there is a, the method to the madness. There is a rice, there is a, there is a fish, there is other things. Well, a few years ago, actually right before I met Eric, my mom said, why are we layering it? Let's just mix it up and see if it will be even tastier. So this is what we're doing today. We're making Russian mimosa salad and we're breaking the main rule. We're not going to layer it. We're gonna mix it all up. We're probably gonna get at least one comment on Russian classmates saying, why didn't you mix it up? But did we mix it up? Cause we did. So we're making Russian salad mimosa and we're not going to layer it. Мы делаем салат мимоза, и он не будет сделан слоями. Let's start cooking. We're gonna start. Uh, I already pop open the lid. And uh, this, sorry, it doesn't say what it's in. Oh, it's in its own juice. So we're gonna pour just a little bit of it out. Just a little bit. And now we're gonna try and open the can. All right. This is what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna dump it out in a bowl and um, check for the little um, whole black pepper. Sometimes I put it in, sometimes I put bailey leaves in too, so you have to be very careful. I see one whole black pepper for sure. All right, so get the black pepper out, try not to eat it, it's not really good. And now, I'm going to mush up the fish a little bit with its own juices. So if you ever buy sori in oil, I, I recommend you actually dump out all of the oil. You don't want your salad to be oily. Since this has its own juices, this is good. But oil, yeah, we need more fat. So just mix it in. So if you don't have, um, if you dumped out the oil or you don't have a lot of juice, which is fine, because I know I dumped out some of the juice, because I'd like a little bit of mayo at this point. We're going to start the mayo process. Remember, it's a Russian salad. There's going to be lots and lots of good mayo. Olive oil mayo, the best way to go. All right, so now it's mixed in. All the mayo is kind of incorporated. Now we have three hard-boiled eggs. By the way, this salad is like the best leftover salad. These things, for the most part, were left from some other dishes we've made. So we're gonna take the eggs and cut them in squares. Very careful, watch your fingers. Whoops. You can use the egg slicer, like my friend Emily does. She does an amazing job every time. Just like this. And I'm gonna cut the rest of the eggs and we'll come back to you and we're gonna put, uh, and I will put them already in here and we'll continue with the next ingredient. So the eggs are in. The next thing is I have some leftover rice. We're gonna put in about um, a cup to a cup and a half. That's it. There it is. This was about a cup. The next thing we're gonna put in, so I had a little bit of leftover chopped onion. You can leave it raw and not do anything else to it. There is two ways to make your strong onion a lot sweeter. I did one of them. I soaked it in vinegar. I just chopped it, because I had chopped already, and I put a little vinegar so it covered it a little bit, and that's it, and just let it sit from half an hour to as long as you want. Another thing you can do, 
is run it under super hot boiling water so basically put it like in a little sifter thing and just have some piping hot just boiled water and put it over it will make keep it crunchy but will make it sweet so i use the vinegar method so it's gonna have that nice vinegary flavor zestiness i really enjoy it that way this is about a quarter of an onion this is all i can hear all right next ingredient and almost the last is cheese you can use any white or yellow cheese this is monterey jack about a third of a cup well this just happened just gonna let it go there you go a little bit more than a third of a cup i guess can't have too much cheese anywhere you do this is it now we can just put the uh, mayo you can put mayo to taste. So when you do layers, I we always felt like when we did layers, we did too much mayo because each layer, it was rice, fish, onions, egg whites, egg, egg yolks. Each layer had to have a um, mayo on it. And it always felt like we're over mayo in it. It always felt like the rice layer never had enough and it was a little dry all the time. And if that salad stayed in the fridge for a day or two, the rice got even drier, where everything else got even mushier. This way, everything's equally delicious. So you can put mayo to taste, depending on how much you like. I'm obviously going for my third tablespoon. And this salad is good by itself. Great with fresh tomatoes. Um, Eric likes it on a cracker. I like it with a piece of bread and a fresh tomato, of course. And you know what? It's all done. Look at this beauty. It's taste test time. I'm just gonna try it. There it goes. Big bite of everything. It's gonna be good. Mmm. And onions are amazing. So this fish has this really strong flavor. So now when people ask you if it's fishy fish, it's a fishy fish. But it has this great marinade. Whatever they do with it in the can, it tastes so delicious and so, so yummy. And the eggs make it a little, you know, melt down. So does the cheese kind of brings it down. So does the rice. And then boom goes the onion. This vinegary, sweet, delicious, crunchy. This is really good. This is one of the classic salads. We'll enjoy it very much and we've been eating it a lot more since we started mixing it up versus making it layered. I'm Zhenya. This is Zhenya's Kitchen, obviously. And this is my take on Russian, not layered, mimosa salad. <laughs>